Today, I'm gonna to specifically talk about introducing a retinol into your skincare program, which can be the most challenging yet the most important part of skin conditioning. So just try and look at it like exercising your skin. So just as you exercise and physically condition your body, the skin re responds the same way. So that's like me right now. I'm, you know, not in any physical shape to go sign up for an Ironman and and just start at the finish line. I'm obviously gonna injure myself pretty dr drastically because I haven't conditioned my body leading up to that marathon. Um, and it's like, if I start working out with a trainer and I'm sore, I'm not allergic to working out. I obviously just need to work and condition my body so I don't stop working out. I push through the workouts, push through the soreness in order to get to the physical shape that I desire to be in. So the skin works the same way and I often we often like to use that example so people can understand um, the process and they don't just think we're crazy when we start them on the retinol program at home. So we have anywhere from a mild to a moderate to an aggressive. Um, that would be the percentage you're using. We have a 0.25 retinol skin brightening product, a 0.5, a 1%. We have radical night repair, which is a 1%. And then we also have, this requires a doctor prescription, but Retin-A's um, at different percentages for a deeper repair. My favorite maintenance cream is Wrinkle and Texture Repair. It's a 0.5% retinol designed to improve the overall function of your skin, stimulate collagen, cell turnover, improve tone, texture, and is great for all ages to include in your daily skincare program. It's really important um, prior procedure. So if you're considering a more aggressive procedure for deep repair, say a laser, a deep chemical peel, um, it, in that sense, skin conditioning is not an option. So you have to condition your skin leading up for about six months leading up to a procedure. Um, and again, that would be on the physician or whoever is um, doing it, providing your service in order to tell you how long you need to prep the skin. Um, but that avoids any damage such as post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation um, or any sort of damage that would come from just not prepping your skin prior to a procedure. So just know that the reaction you're getting from a retinol is normal. Um, red, dry, peely, it's just like being sore again through that workout, but just know that with that, you're stimulating collagen, you're getting that deep cellular repair, um, you're accelerating that cell turnover. Um, there's things you can do to comfort yourself through the process. Um, such as our functioning hydrators. Sometimes I'll even put growth factor serum underneath as a barrier um, before my retinol at home. But um, just don't stop, you know, you have to push yourself through. So again, it's all on what you can tolerate at home. Um, I find typically patients who are in need of that deep repair are just gung-ho. They start on the aggressive, they're using it every single day. They go through that red dry peely where they're just uncomfortable. Um, but then with, within you know a month, they're getting those great results and they're super happy. So however you want to do it, whatever works for you again, um, is fine. If you want to get on the fast track, then you just do it every single day. If you want to slowly introduce to where you're more comfortable, um, you could start at a mild, maybe a 0.25, start it every day or a 0.5, maybe three times a week. All right, everyone. Thanks for tuning in today. I know it's a lot of information. I hope basically that I've just encouraged you to continue using your retinol, continue conditioning your skin, and just focus on the end results, which is firm, smooth, healthy skin. Thanks, everybody. Hope to see you soon.